Hey everybody, it's Emiko, um, and today I am sitting here with a very special friend of mine, Lenny Mayu, who I think a lot of you probably know from the hi-fi and high-end audio community and the music community. Um, Lenny is an esteemed ambassador for various hi-fi brands and a very talented guitar player and I think just one of the dearest, kindest, brightest lights in music right now. And he reached out to me yesterday regarding something that was really near and dear to his heart. And so we wanted to take a moment and talk about it and hope that it's something that will resonate with you. Um, Lenny is from a place called Lake Charles and Lake Charles is having a bit of trouble at the moment. That's an understatement. Um, but I know this is something that you wanted to immediately stand up and help with and sort of push out to all of our networks to get as many people on board to help as possible. So Lenny, can you talk, take us through what happened, what's going on right now? And, um, you know, and a little bit, I know Lake Charles also has a great musical history. So the reason yeah. that we're doing this is it's tied into the music and to hi-fi and to recording and to um, live performance. So there's a very specific reason um, why this I think is relatable for so many people. So Lenny, if you can let everybody know, that would be great. Well, first, thank you, Amiko, for doing this with me. And yeah, I'm usually more animated and and excited and I am but this is something I need to do it's 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 compelling me or impelling me to do this but yeah we have a little uh, saying in Louisiana where I'm from southwest Louisiana <clears throat> it's called langya it's a French word that means giving a little extra and this is what this is about that the media is showing you some of the the things that are happening but they're kind of forgetting what's happening because they were estimating this huge almost tsunami wave that didn't come but what came with these huge winds like 150 mile an hour sustained winds for like 45 minutes to an hour so just like this giant tornado just ripped these towns apart 97 percent of all schools including universities are gone shut down people have lost homes roofs uh, i have friends that are digging latrines in their backyard cooking over open fire because there's no sewage there's no water no electricity the fire stations are destroyed, the police are just, I mean, stations are destroyed. And because it wasn't this massive wave, it's just kind of, oh, they got some wind damage. No, this town is decimated. It's just gone. And I'm having people call me every day, family, friends, lost homes, everything. And I just wanted to do what I could to say, hey, guys in the music world, anybody out there that's watching this, please, if you can, there's gonna be a link to some charities do what you can, give a little bit. If you're looking up and you can see a roof or you can flush your toilet, you're doing better than these folks. They're really in a bad way. And I think, you know, they're kind of being forgotten because they were expecting A to happen and A didn't happen. It's like, oh, they dodged a bullet. But they no B happened and B is just as bad. Right. So, you know, they're there and it's like, hey, we need help, we need help. These are friends of mine in their 50s. They, they've had careers and professionals and children they've raised. and. They're standing in line in 110 heat in 100% humidity for an hour and a half just to get a, a, a MRE. Just, but there's no food. There's no grocery stores. It, it, it's like a third world country. And I just, I, I, if anybody can help, do what you can, uh, anything, please, if you can help these people out, it's, it's, it would mean something to me. And it's a special little town. It was part of that the 50s, 60s gut bucket, they called it tour. So you had, you know, guys like Hank Williams and Elvis and Little Richard and, you know, uh, it just all these great players. But and Dolly Parton at 15 years old or even younger, I think, recorded her first single in Lake Charles. It was called Puppy Love. And it's got such a great musical history and it's where I got my start and love of music. And I don't live there and I haven't lived there for a while, but I, I, hear, I hear their pleas and, and I feel that I, I need to do something because I, I have an audience. There's, you know, people know me from around the world, many different genres and stuff. And, and if I could say something as, as heartfelt as I can, please give a little line off to these people, help them, please. So to put it into context, um, because we're recording this video and then by the time you, the viewer, see it, hopefully it'll be up this afternoon. But today is um, Thursday, September 3rd, 
2020. Um, so Lenny, when did this happen? I mean, it was quite recent. You know, I don't know. It's Hurricane Laura. It might have been on the 31st. So just a few 30th. days ago. Yeah. Literally it, a few days ago. This is a, a, a week fresh. at the most, maybe. Right. This has gone by so quickly. I, I'm, I'm even, you know, lost right. track. But, right. you know, I, uh, I don't know why I feel so compelled. Maybe because I'm always writing stories about back home. And it's always something I wear on my sleeve, being from Louisiana. And, and, I, and I, I use that to my advantage, but I don't want to be a one-sided friend. If I use that to my advantage and I'm tied to that to help me professionally or either just in any way, I need to be responsible for that connection as well. Yeah. So I'm doing what I can. I've raised some money for some friends of mine. I'm not even in the audio business. They're in the engineering business like Edson mm -hmm. uh, and um, Van Nuys. It's one of the oldest manufacturing companies of, of soldering irons. They do aerospace and they've helped, you know, because they lost their homes during a fire two years ago and they're still recovering from that. So when they heard, you know, that people were suffering, man, Julie and Lori Fortune, they just got right on it, man. And they've been helping me and and, you know, I've had lots of friends call and say, what can we do? And, you know, I think people want to help. They just don't know how. So hopefully we can get, you know, a link that can show people that they can donate money. And, you know, me and my wife are sending out tarps and food and we have with generate anything we can to help because there's no help for them. You know, there, there, there's just nothing. It's coming, but, you know, maybe a month. And what I'm worried about is, this was earlier in the hurricane cycle than it's ever been. There's more hurricanes coming. By the time they get a little makeshift town, it could be destroyed again. And yeah. I just, I know they need help. And if you can help, and I know that we're in a pandemic and people have been out of work, and this may be a big ask, but it doesn't have to be a lot. You know, you, you, can, you can make up a lot of money with nickels and dimes and I, I, whatever you can do, you know, yeah. if you, if you drink a Starbucks a week and that's three bucks, that's 21 bucks. Give that just whatever you can do Just you know, they're in a worse shape than you, I guarantee. Right. So, and their Starbucks is no longer standing. And that's, oh, that's no. the point is that the town has been leveled. And I think especially now, and that's not to that's not to discount previous devastation from hurricanes in years past, but it is to say that now, especially in the time of COVID, governmental aid, NGOs, um, the normal cycle and path with through which aid would flow is either delayed or completely stopped because the resources have been reallocated for the pandemic. And so it's taking a lot longer to get places. There's a lot more red tape to go through. There's a lot of safety issues with safety workers coming in, right? Because now you're dealing with this added layer of, of COVID. So the ways that we can help, Lenny, I know when we spoke over the phone yesterday, you were personally vetting certain charitable organizations, making sure that you know the majority, if not 100% of every dollar that's given would go directly to the cause, which is mm -hmm. great. So when we post these links for you guys, please know that they're already pre-vetted and you're welcome to vet them on your own as well. Um, you know, And maybe Lenny, if there's a place where they can send supplies, if anybody wants to order things off of Amazon or something and have them brought in, whether it's towels or socks or blankets or whatever it is, something that's um, fresh and still wrapped so you know that safety and health wise that it's, you know, it hasn't been touched yet. Um, you know, that's another way that you can help, I'm sure. Um, prepaid cell phones, anything that will allow mm -hmm. for communication to the outside world will also be helpful. And I think, you know, the big thing is that we're all sitting at home right now on our butts, kind of, and a lot of people are, I, I think, are falling into these somewhat negative spaces of feeling trapped. This is one way to untrap yourself. This is yeah. one way to lift yourself up is to say, hey, I'm trapped in my house, which is still standing, not being leveled by these huge gusts of winds and tornadoes. Let me give of myself to something else, no matter how big or small. And I think that's one way that you can help somebody else and keep yourself in a positive frame of mind, right? They say the best thing you can do when you're feeling down is to help another. Yeah. So hopefully they're just will... struggling. And yeah. I want the world to know a Louisiana word, lanyap, and give a little lanyap, give some love. Yeah. You know, it'll come back. I'm telling you, it'll come back tenfold. So yeah. 
do what you can, help my friends. These are my friends. These are people I know. These are people I went to high school with. These are people that came to my wedding. These are my friends. Yeah. And they're struggling, man. And I hear it in their voices. I hear when they have to ask me for help that, you know, that the, the level of, I can't get to a bank, Lenny. I, I can't, I'm, I have nothing. And I just, right. if I could show, <laughs> I'm good at selling audio and I'm good at, you know, doing demonstrations but asking for help I'm not good at and I'm willing to bear my soul to say, please help these people because, you know, I'm much better at giving than receiving and asking. I'm better at giving help than asking for help. So this is out of my comfort zone even. And I'm just, please, you know, just help, please. Yeah. And we should be helping everybody. Absolutely. Just because just because we didn't go to high school with them or just because they weren't at my wedding or I didn't grow up with them doesn't mean that, somehow it's less it's it's in fact the more that you can do for strangers right they say random act of kindness the better and the more we put into the world you know the bigger the safety net is there for everybody so um you know and if you can't if you're not really in the position to give money that or or give supplies then when you see this video please share it don't just like Perfect. it but share it, actually send it to somebody that you think might be able to help. That can be your way of contributing. Um, because right now I feel like there are certain aspects of humanity that we need to take into our own hands in a community spirit like this and say, while well, we're waiting for the official help to come, right? Which may or may not show up in its entire capacity. Let's leave that one there. But there's plenty we can do. Right. In and of ourselves. There's plenty we can do if we band together and we can make that difference. So um, you can count me in for help, not just okay, in this great. video, but in a few other ways, which we'll talk about. Um, and, uh, you know, my hope is really you and I both being in hi-fi and also in the high-end community, we do know that there is plenty of money. I'll just call it out. We know there's plenty of people spending plenty of money on really awesome speakers and cables and amps and, and wonderful, wonderful components. So if even a tiny, tiny portion of your audio budget, audio files, I'm talking to y'all, <laughs> can, go, can go to help a town where perhaps some of your favorite songs were recorded, some of your yeah. favorite artists came through on tour and allowed them to continue their careers to create the songs that you love so much, then you know, you're also doing your part in that. So please just be mindful of that as, as you go forward and, you and know. consider helping. And songs like uh, Lucinda Williams, she has a song called Lake Charles. Yeah. It's about right. how she's, you know, from Texas, but everybody wanted to be from Lake Charles because it's a cool town. Uh, Robbie Robertson and the band up on Cripple yeah. Creek, down in Lake Charles, Louisiana. There is no Cripple Creek in Lake Charles, Louisiana. People ask me that all the time. Robbie Robertson's from- Now we know. <laughs> yeah, from Canada. He just thought that place was cool. Right. I was make up a river. So yeah. uh, there is no Cripple Creek, but they are crippled. So right. think about it like that. It's a great little Southern town and so much history and love and roots and do what you can. Get a little on yacht, listen to more music, share the love. Thank you, Amiko. Thank you for what you do. My pleasure, Lenny. Thank you for trusting in me with this message. And, and uh, you know, I certainly hope that our communities will, I know, I know our communities will come together oh, yeah, and, help where, and help how and where they can. So our plan is to, so guys, so you know, by the time you're seeing this, it'll be already be out, but our plan is to share this to as many music and audio and audiophile boards and sites and publications as we can. That's why both of us are not branding this as our professional monikers. We're just speaking friend to friend here, music lover to music lover. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully if you are in the hi-fi space or the music space and you know us and you want to help, please grab this link, grab this video, write to us, post it up for your folks to see and let's spread the word because you know what? It could be any of us. In these crazy times, especially with murder hornets and pandemics and tornado fires and all sorts of stuff any one of our towns in our cities could be the next one so best that we help where we can help and we always have that mindset going forward so any parting words lenny or are we are we good uh, with that i can That's always get the same parting words always <laughs> listen to more music you know music is magic 
But let's show the hi-fi world. Let's show the world what the hi-fi world, what the music can do, what musicians can do. Because, yeah. you know, one of the things that somebody was saying is during all these turbulent times, musicians have always, you, get, you can't separate music from the 60s and all those things. But right now, because there's no concerts, you, maybe the music world is looking for something to do to show our love and our passion of what we yeah. do, why we do what we do. And this is a great little cause. So show some love, show some lanyap. And if I see you at a show eventually and you've done something, come tell me and uh, I will per personally thank you. Hey, Lenny, I have a thought Ooh. because I always have to one up your closing statement. I literally yeah. just thought of this. And because we're recording this, we're just gonna let this fly. What if we arrange a, a Zoom benefit concert? We pick a few artists to play on a date, just back to back to back to back to back, and we raise money for Lake Charles. I'm Hall. game, man. Let's do it, bro. So now artists who wanna perform and help us, this is your way you can donate. So contact Lenny or contact myself if you if you have our information on those, we'll post it up for you. Um, and we'll we'll do that too. Absolutely. I love that. Man, that's a great idea. You, you, you won. You up <laughs> no way, dude. No way. I was anyway. talking about thanks. You, you, you <laughs> built a benefit concert. So. <laughs> well, I mean, we're trying to combine helping as many people as we can. The, the beautiful Absolutely. people of Lake Charles yeah. need the money and the supplies and the support and the artists need to play and they can connect the two and there's that human aspect right there of, of and that's the way it used to be you know we were bards they, they, they we were people that spread that's what musicians did before they were musicians right. we talked about things that were happening you know that's the whole idea of being a minstrel going around and yeah. saying what you saw in one town and turning it into music and art and uh i believe we're we're the, the artist community the music community is kind of hungry for this and we need to grasp this as, as forcibly forcefully as we can and try to do something good and you know what you'll feel good you'll feel good about yourself i'm telling you yeah. this is worthy this is a worthy cause awesome let's do it miko always you're the best lenny love to you and nicole um Absolutely. thank you everybody for tuning in and um please find it in your hearts to give and support and if anybody has any other creative ideas that we haven't thought of Feel free to get in touch because I know Lenny and I are all ears and I know that the beautiful folks at Lake Charles will be more than grateful for just knowing that the rest of the world is thinking about them and trying to help however they can, you know. So thank you everybody in advance. Um, what's the word? Lanyap? Is that Lanyap. 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 So we're going to, we're going to Lanyap and we're going to maxi Lanyap. Maximum. Maximum. Give a little yeah. extra. Give a lot of <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Awesome. All right, my friend, uh, you take care of yourself and stay safe. Everybody who's watching this, please stay safe and, um, you know, keep rocking. Bye-bye.